service at Winfield called me and asked if I would take her in. She was in the tornado at Hackabur's and uh, she was really cut up. You can kind of see on her knees and all. We tried trimming her feet when we first got her, but she was just so sore, you know, she she just wouldn't let us handle her much. She had a big laceration on her side and um, the vet told them that um, through her injuries, her trauma, and the meds that she was on that having to take that she'd lose the colt. And we, uh, uh, she had the colt June 8th, and she's just a beautiful thing. She's head full of scents and all. And the owner, she would come by, you know, periodically and, and uh, of course, brush Gypsy and, and tend to her too. And when Akachita was born, um, she came out and I asked her, I said, if you ever decide to sell her, you know, I want first chance at her. And so she sold her to me a couple of weeks later. And then two or three weeks after that, she gave me the mare for the farm. And, and she's just very good um, kid horse. She's very gentle, you know, and all. And the colt is gentle. She's, you know, for a colt, she's, she's a real good girl. And I named her Akachita which means, uh, in the Native American language, uh, fighter, because she had to fight for her life. So and wh what's the mother's name? Gypsy or? is the mother's name. Is what? Gypsy. Gypsy, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we, we, they're part of our reins of life, and also, she's just spoiled. But I, you know, I hope that she's, she's one that, that grows old here at the farm. You know, she's just, just a good girl. Oh yeah, and you you've all. you've got a pretty big farm. <laughs> it's 85 acres here. Um, we've got 31 horses. Um, that's that includes our mule, all our minis. We got six minis now, and uh, we've got some horses that are you know gaining weight. We've we've had some brought. We've had 10 brought in since the storm. 11, I'm sorry. Um, some are storm related, some are not. Um, they, you know, some were just starved to death, just walking skeletons. And, um, you know, they're they're doing really well now. Uh, I've got two older ones that are hard keepers, you know, and and we have put them up at the barn now because they're just real hard to keep weight on. You know, at one time they've either had colic or, you know, they're just older horses too, and it's just hard to keep their weight on. And uh, so we we've got them around there, just them together, you know, feeding them. And where so, are they from? Uh, one of them is from um, Walker County, and one from Winston County. Mm -hmm. The sheriff's department they called us on two back in uh, last of July, and uh, so we went and got them. You know, we get calls. People know about us, and you know, get calls about horses. I, if I had the land, you know, I could take a hundred. <laughs> you know, it's just people think they want horses and, and uh, you know, the kids think they want horses and then when they see that, you know, there's some tending to them, then they kind of lose interest. But, you know, we call them our gentle giants. You know, our angels and horsehair. They've, uh, they've been through our program. We, Reigns of Life has been um, going since June of 2008, which I've, I've always loved horses and all. And, uh, you know, our horses have been therapy for a lot of kids that have uh, been through a lot, been through some trauma, their sales, divorces. You know, they feel like they're, um, sometimes the kids feel like they're thrown away too, you know, like the horses are. And uh, so they come out and they bond with these horses. And, and uh, when I was explaining to him, the way I explain. Yeah, yeah. They just, uh, and, and I would love next year to add special needs kids. Um, we're trying to raise funds now for me to go to a, a class. Um, it's in Montgomery, and I have to have that class to be certified to work with handicapped special needs kids. And uh, but we had a child come out. Uh, it's been a month or so ago, and he's autistic, and he has to see and feel the object, you know, to, to get the words right. You know, he's going through speech therapy and all, and, and he just could not get horse. You know, he'd call it cow or something else every time. And so his grandmother called me up and asked if she could come out and see our horses, you know, and let him see. And
And the minute he saw Gypsy and Akachita, I said, now that's a horse. He goes, of course, just plain. And, and, and you know, through his visit here, they stayed probably an hour. And through their visit, you know, I'd go back. And I'd say, now what is this again? What's Miss Frida got? And he'd go, horse. You know, it's so How old is he? Um, he was in kindergarten. And, you know, just things like that, hands-on, is, is what these horses are all about. And uh, we've been really fortunate not to get any crazy horses, you know, and, and they've been really good. I've seen one or two of them. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. you just, there's oh, some you just can't do anything. It was like. a, uh, it was one of the Plains horses that were caught. Yeah. And so, yeah, and they brought it out of Memphis yeah. on a trail ride. And it would be just fine. And all of a sudden, it would lay down. It would have a fear. Yeah. I mean, just yeah. terrible fear. Well, it's that wildness in them, you know, and that's the, the flea, you know, part of them mm -hmm. that, that's instilled in, in horses. Now, we've got a Mustang out of Utah, and uh, she's she's probably our hardest to catch. That's you know? the word I was trying to think of, yeah. was Mustang. Yeah, she's uh, <clears throat> she, real good, real gentle. We've used her in pony rides when really? we go to... Um, Different, um, um, like Jasper and Carbon Hill, they're Fall Fest and all. Aren't they something? <laughs> they're standing there like they're like our five year old kids. We got a bunch of five year old kids. They love attention. Mm -hmm. They love, you know, just that human contact. They just love it. And, uh, she okay. says, before you do that, I want to see <laughs> what you are. That's my baby. Mm -hmm. I'm real tickled with Uncle Cheetah. I'm just, when, when folks come out, she's the first one I show. You're jealous, aren't you? <laughs> she's yeah, a good she mom. Are. You're jealous. And you know, for her not to know us and her going through the stuff that she did, you know, she just uh, let us ride. Yeah. 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 It takes time. Well, and of course she had the, the coat. Yeah. Well, the coat's bring her down now. We, uh, we, we it's fed her. Time, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, and we kept her weight up, but see, the colt is close to being as tall as she is now. Uh, her sire is, is a really big horse, and uh, and she's beginning to pull her down. I had her on senior feed, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, the the more um, higher protein feed. But uh, now, Where, I'll who helps you with the food and things? Well, the we can't we're, help monetarily. Yeah, but we're yeah. Yeah, well, um, the uh, Catholic Church at Winfield, they bought mm -hmm. us some feet during the summer mm -hmm. while we were out at the disaster relief. Mm -hmm. um, they bought feed for Hackerberg, and they bought feed for us. And so they brought our load out here, and uh, and then they took Hackerberg's feed on. And that helped oh, tremendously. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're needing hay. If you can get the word out for hay. Um, because of no rain, you know, we, uh, mm -hmm. our fields have gone down. And, and the rains brought the grain back out, but we already started having to feed the hay that we were stocking up for the winter. And uh, so we, we just, uh, we just need feeding hay for a bad okay. We don't want them to get I've got a guy that has donated us some round pen panels. So he had bought out a uh, slaughterhouse. They had uh, closed down in Texas. And so he had bought the round pen panels. So he's supposed to be bringing them when he has uh, an empty trailer coming back to Alabama. He's supposed to bring those with him. And you know, we're hoping that we can build the arena out here in this front pasture that's behind the blue building. Um, we've got plenty of parking and all. We're going to have horse shows and youth rodeos and 4-H and, uh, class, you know, horse shows and things. You know, there's one in Brickland. Those things in, in Jasper, you know, walking. All of our horses and the kids can participate on these horses. That's what we intend to do. You um, need to get her uh, telling her name and maybe when her next event's going to be. Yeah. Well, uh, we, well, my name is Frida Palmer, and I'm director and founder of the Reigns of Life Youth Ranch. 
Uh, we are a horse rescue recovery and youth program. We uh, take in unwanted horses, uh, neglected horses, uh, a horse that was once a child's best friend and, and hoped for Christmas, and uh, now they're forgotten. And we give them a new home, a new reign on life, and uh, we work with these horses to make sure they're kid friendly and, and all, and we, we welcome children out with the similar background that they feel like uh, they've been forgotten or they're neglected or you know sometimes abused and all and and when they see these horses have come out of um, a situation and how well they're doing and all it, it, it enlightens these kids and uh, and it makes them feel confident that they can do something too and uh, so we, we just combine the two. Are you inside the city limits? We are. Mm -hmm. Just inside the city limits. I'd come to the city council meetings. I'd, yeah. I'd be on yeah. the TV channels all I yeah. could. Yeah. Um, I, I really... Do you work other than this? Well, <laughs> I mean, this is a lot of... Yeah. I, I sold insurance, mm -hmm. but um, because I...